Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be covering the fishing forecast for Caddo Lake and Lake of the Pines. We're also going to be sharing with you guys a couple of tips if you're new to the area. So let's get to the video. I'm going to start out with this. I'm going to show you this map right here. It's called Lake of the Pines. They make one, the same company makes one for Caddo Lake. If you're new to the area and you've never fished either one of the lakes, this is a great resource. I know when we moved here several years ago, I tried to hire a couple of fishing guides and once they found out I was from the local area, they wanted to take me to Lone Star instead of Lake of the Pines. I was trying to learn the lake, ended up picking up one of these deals, and again, it's a great place to start looking. On this map, you can see on the map, there's a bunch of different areas that are highlighted. And then on the very back of the map, and again, sorry about the lighting on this, guys. I'm just trying to show you the map. It tells you places to go, times of year, and where the fish are typically at. And again, if you're new to the lake, this is a great starting point. This map is waterproof. Again, they have one for Caddo Lake and Lake of the Pines. I'm just showing you this one for Lake of the Pines because the one for Caddo's in my boat. And currently, it is raining again. This is Wednesday morning. The fishing forecast shows to be really, really good. If you, if you guys stay up with the lunar activity, Thursday, one o'clock, Friday, two o'clock, Saturday, three o'clock. Speaking of Saturday, starting out on Caddo Lake, North Louisiana Fishers of Men is gonna be having a tournament on Caddo Lake. While we're talking about Caddo Lake, I want you to understand it's been raining like crazy for quite some time now. Caddo Lake is still really high on the water level. Lake of the Pines is still over three foot high on the water level, the normal water level that is. The state park at Caddo Lake, they close their boat ramp pretty regular. One of the reasons that they closed the boat ramp is because there's huge logs coming down the river from all this flooding. Bear in mind, if you're gonna be out on Caddo Lake fishing this weekend, that there may be logs as big as your boat floating down the river so be mindful of that if you're ripping across the lake. Next up, speaking about ripping across the lake, guys be courteous to the homeowners out there. They're seeing a lot of damage this year due to the flooding. A lot of it's just the natural current, logs running into their, their buildings or whatever else that are on the edge of the river system. Don't be that guy that's making a huge wake and sending waves up over the top of their deck. Put yourself in their shoes and pretend like it was yours for a minute. Would you like it? Let's all be courteous. I know the people that are watching the fishing report are generally not the ones that are creating these kind of problems, but you can always share this video with others just to remind people to be respectful. My general rule of thumb, if the state park ramp is closed, they do that for a reason. I take that as a clue and then I'll run on over. We're planning on being at Lake of the Pines this weekend, my family and I, due to the flooding and the state park ramp being closed, we're just gonna play it in my mind a little bit safer, head over to Lake of the Pines. If you are gonna be out on Cattle Lake, the fishing's still really good. The guy, uh, the, everybody's doing real well with the panfish, catching them on worms or crickets. Your crappie are starting to pick up on the lake as well. And then obviously the bass are doing really well because they're getting in there on some of those bedded perch that are wrapping up their spawn for this year. We may see another small surge of another tiny spawn in the middle of this month as we go closer to the full moon phase of June. But typically the majority of them have already spawned or started spawning. Back over to Lake of the Pines, Blackland Crappie, and I believe he makes jigs, made a post on their page this week said that he was catching fish in between that 15 and 24 foot of water using a silver colored jig. He actually shows the picture of what he's using for catching crappie there on Lake of the Pines. The catfish are still up in the flooded timber. The perch are trying like crazy to wrap up their spawn. So it's just a prime time to be out fishing. The weather forecast is showing it's gonna be sunny currently right now and we're videoing this on Wednesday probably hear it raining in the background. I'm doing this early. Again, be mindful that we have a tournament on Caddo. I'm sure there's probably some going on at Lake of the Pines. I just haven't gotten any word at the time of this video. Again, guys, let's just all remember to be safe out there on the water. I hope you all have a blessed week. Post up pictures of your fish. Hit us up on the Facebook groups, whether it's Caddo Lake Fishing Report or Lake of the Pines Fishing Report. That's where I get a lot of my information for you guys and I want to share it with everybody. And again, in this week's bonus, we just wanted to share the maps in case you are new to the area. I'll put links to those maps down below. It might make it easier for you finding a place to go fish. I hope you all have a blessed and safe weekend of fishing. Again, thanks so much for sharing our videos with others. 
We want to try to keep everybody safe out on the water and give you guys updates as we can. I post weather updates pretty regular on the Caddo Lake Fishing Report to try to keep everybody abreast. Just be mindful, keep looking up in the sky, keep a look on your weather radar app if you have one on your phone and if you don't, download one so that you can have it. Again, we appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all have a blessed weekend and let's get outside and make something happen.